Yo, what's going on? On today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to use tables and stuff. Um, I'll be pretty much explaining it. Uh, if you've been watching my other videos, like my data store video recently, you would definitely have seen I've used tables before. I'm giving a brief overview of what tables are and stuff. I'm pretty much explaining it as they're pretty pretty simple, very useful, extremely, extremely useful and stuff. And not too hard to understand. It might be a little confusing at first, but pretty simple though. Pretty simple and easy to understand. But yeah. So, um, let's get straight into it. We can head on over to server script servant server script service and insert a server script, right? We can delete print hello world. There's actually multiple ways you can create a table. You could do uh, let's say local um, local test table, right? Make it like a variable, right? I can do equal this. This is usually how I like to do it. This is usually how I prefer honestly to do it and stuff. If you watch my other videos, you guys will see too. These special brackets indicate like a table and stuff like that. You could do it like that, you could, and then you could simply write like uh, one, two, three, right? And stuff. The, the whole point of a table is to hold multiple values and stuff. That's why the commas, the commas are meant to separate each value individually, right? Now you could also do it like kind of like this, and then enter, and then you could also write it like I believe it's like one. Yeah, one, two, I mean, one, two, three, and four, then yeah, you guys just keep going like that. Now, obviously, you can't do it like that. You need a comma because the whole point is to separate like each one and stuff, right? So, there is multiple ways you guys can make tables and stuff. Um, I'll show you guys how tables are displayed. So, we can say local uh, table is equal to, and then we'll say, uh, I don't know, apples oranges grapes right and then we want to print the table right and i'll show you guys oh sorry wrong thing. and we want to print the table so here's what a table will look like in the output right it's pretty much it's pretty much it'll look like this like like with these lines because it's multiple it's multiple things the first thing apples second thing oranges third thing grapes and stuff right as you can see the whole purpose of a table really is to hold multiple uh We'll say multiple values like that are pretty much that's how I that's how I really interpret uh, the whole point of tables and stuff. Now to add values, not add values to tables. Say you wanted to have a table that like it held a list of like every single player that joined the game, which of course is very useful and stuff. That's how people use welcome badges and stuff. Either a table or they would have like a value under the players check if they joined the game already. If this is the first time playing the game, so say. We had it like local joined table, right? And then we made we made a function, right? We said game dot players that player added colon connect function in parentheses plr, which is short for player, then press enter, right? And then we would do if table dot find, right? Table dot find means just gonna search the table, whatever table table is the haste like haystack means table, like whatever table you're looking for. Or looking through I should say right so you put join table then the needle is pretty much like the value you're looking for then you could put the number if if you have the number but usually I just put the whatever I'm looking for so player dot name that's what we're adding right so pretty much if like pretty much for the function if we find that the player's name is within the table then print player has already been added right Else, if not table dot find joined table same thing same thing player dot name then we will do table dot insert which pretty much it adds a value so you will, of course will put the table then the value you're adding to it which is player dot name right and print then you would print player has been added right now just to give a little bit of clarification tables are do not have like no type of auto saving like to make a table save, you would have to um, like save it with, with a data store and stuff. Pretty much what I mean by that is, if I were to join the game, if I were to join the uh, game right now, it of course is going to say player ha uh, player has been added because I because it, like the table is empty, right? Now if I were to leave, like let me show you guys what I mean. If I click play, right, it's going to say yeah player has been added. I don't know why it does this. I keep, like it's like this word glitch, but anyway, player has been added to the table, right? Now if I press stop and then I go back into the game, it's gonna say the exact same thing. Player has been added. It'll keep doing this and stuff. 
the reason why I don't know why I did that black screen stuff, but anyway, the reason why it keeps doing this and stuff is because the table is blank. Like every time we start, we start a new server. Like the table is blank. Now while the server is currently like ex we'll say existing, then it's like it kind of in a way saves, but it only saves per server. What I mean is like say if this server had me and another person in it. I join and it adds my name to the table then I leave and join while the server is still up and running it would then say player has already been added and stuff right now if you watch my data store videos you guys will see how we save data with tables but I'll show you guys real quick so let's do local test data store is equal to game get service uh, data store service get data store test data store right pretty much what we'll do is we'll do this we will make it so it adds a player's name to the data store. So where I'm gonna be so honest, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, okay, then so okay, so if we add the name, okay, here we go. So if we add the name, we will do. I guess we'll just yeah for the for the sake of the video, we'll just update it like as as it goes. Okay, so we'll save it per uh, user ID, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that per user ID. Player dot user ID then value is uh, join table. Yeah, we'll save it like that. We'll save it like that, and then that should allow. Okay, now that should work. I believe it should work. Honestly, honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you late. I'm like, don't count me for this. Okay, I'm gonna remove my player from there. Now it should have now it should have instantly saved it upon me upon me. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't really expect it to really work. But anyway, you guys get the point. You guys get the point. If you guys do want me to make a video on how to uh, make data source tables, I can do that and actually show you guys. Or if you just want to go see, you could just go see my other data star videos that I made with like leader stats and that and that you clearly see me uh, doing data saving with tables. But last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to remove an uh, entry from a table. So this one is a little bit more complicated. At least to me, it was complicated. So you would do table dot remove, but the, but you would think it would just be the table, then like you know the value, same same way as like table dot insert. But no, you put the you put the uh, name of the table, then the position, right? Which obviously it's kind of hard to keep up with all the positions and stuff of like where each value is. So we would put the table, right? comma the position now there's an easy way to find the position and you don't really have to do anything right like the script will do it for you you simply do table dot find table dot find which as you guys can see we already used it pretty much will return to us a number a number four so if we do table dot find and then we do the same thing join table then the value so player dot name pretty much it will find the player name uh we'll say yeah index that's the word stuff right it'll return it and then we'll have the position and then it'll be able to remove it from the table and yeah that's simple i hope this video was helpful and useful for explaining tables if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section happy to answer them and yeah i uh, appreciate y'all for watching and i'll see you guys